Where's Iran? Where's Iran? A mysterious land surrounded by the seven seas, mountains and jungles. Is it the land of snow and cold or heat and dryness? Does it have more summits or deserts? What can be said? The answer lies between the Persian Gulf and the Caspian Sea. Are Iranians great poets, or dauntless, skillful warriors, craftsmen, or artists? The answer can be dozing in the shade of a bushy flower in a garden beside Hafez's tomb, and it sometimes can be found on the wings of a skylark, perching on the shoulder of Ferdowsi's statue, asking about the end of Shahnameh. The answer is confused and lost in the resonance of our footsteps, the granite columns of Persepolis, and before it could find its way, it appears in Nasir al Mold Mosque, enchanted by the light playing with colors. Water has been the old and beloved companion of civilization. It has always taken civilization under its wing and has never left it alone. The Iranians have followed the footsteps of water to the gates of civilization. Water has been its guide, although it is still younger and livelier than civilization. Iranians attend to water and look after it. They have built homes for it. Water storage houses, ice storages, pools and ponds signify this ancient friendship between humans and water. 
Iranians have built bridges to avoid disturbance of water traveling its way. Water has occasionally gone on a tour of the countryside and wilderness and gotten lost. In order to find it, humans abducted the earth and brought it out again from the heart of the wells and canals. They go back to the cities and on the way visit the fields and orchards which have been worried about water just to reassure them have you ever met anyone who has heard a lie from water no never that's why everyone asks water to be a testimony to showing off their beauty to the world and the magical mirror the reflection of palaces houses and gardens are the true testimony of water of Iranian efforts due to this genuine courage Iranians have always honored water and considered it beautiful and sacred they have composed poems for it in the first word they learned to read and write as water before learning to write their own names Iranians learn to write the word water The young civilization is the offspring of its forefathers it is beautiful lively and noble it creates buildings and constructs roads and reaches the pinnacle of its forefathers dreams humans economic activities and social dynamism still occurs near the water and water is always a prerequirement for prosperity Water is the same old friend, as truthful as ever, as reliable. Iranians have called water to testify in the mountains and in the fields. They have shown water the ups and downs of the fields. They have always followed water to beautiful and fertile lands. They have asked water to cross the arid deserts to gather and build green lands so that people can build their homes there and celebrate the reflection of their houses in the water and honor it. New blood whistles of life are being born. Iran's heart is beating and water is traveling down from high mountains to the thirsty plains. Water sees fields and orchards in the parched, baked soil of the plains. It sees sparrows, skylarks and perennial flowers. Iranians will reach fertile and rich fields following water.